Okay, so good thing we bought a whole roll. Okay, let's try again. What is up everybody? It is a break in the storm Saturday and I'm using this uh, time right before, looks like it's about ready to downpour, to take the bike on over to my working place, the place where I do my mods. And we're gonna see if we can't uh, make an adjustment on this bike so that there's not tape on it. So. When I say there's not going to be tape on it, there will be adhesive on the bike, but that's different from having what is essentially uh, duct tape on my bike. Um, and it's black and it's Gorilla Tape and it's strong, but I just I don't like the idea of having tape um, on invisible parts of my bike. So what we did is we got some 3M vinyl wrap, and I'm not sure that it's so much as shrink wrap as when you heat it, it's pliable and you can wrap it. And there is a bit of adhesive on it so that uh, so that it stays in place. Now, this is used, uh, I guess, the, the more common application that I've seen for uh, like wrapping your tank or, uh, you know, people who have sport bikes will wrap their fairing. I've seen people do it to their cars. They'll get a similar wrap. The one that I've seen is like a, uh, like a carbon fiber vinyl wrap. It gives the appearance of your your car like if the hood were wrapped in this this vinyl wrap with a carbon fiber look to it it makes it look like you've got a carbon fiber hood and you know, it's, is that cheating but yeah but I know that a lot of people would like to have that look but they can't fork out the money to buy an actual carbon fiber hood so anyway uh, this is the kind of wrap that we're gonna use we're headed on over and I don't know that we'll attempt to make this mod while it's raining but it's only supposed to rain for you know an hour or two and once that clears up it's supposed to be clear again so we'll let this 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 storm that you can definitely see in the distance just pass through and then we'll get to work on this uh on this wrap so uh what, what we're doing here is maybe we might get some on my on my license plate mount as well but we're definitely going to get it on the uh on the swing arm uh so that we can cover up these wires um, without using tape. 20 minutes later. All right, so this is less of a tutorial and more of an experiment. What we're gonna do is I pulled the tape up off of here. Uh, we've cleaned this really good uh, with some motorcycle cleaner and then I also got alcohol and I cleaned the back of this area, the top and the side because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this 3M vinyl wrap we're gonna wrap the side over the top and the back just to make sure that this wire is completely uh, covered and protected. Um, and like I said before, we had tape on here and it just bothers the crap out of me that I had tape on my bike. So this vinyl wrap is stuff that they use again, like I said, to wrap cars, motorcycles. This is, uh, this is good stuff. And it's also um, the glossy black. So it should give the appearance here of just you know, of, of hiding this wire, um, you know, you'll see the, the bump here where the wire is going to be, um, but but nothing more than that. There shouldn't be, you know, it's not going to look like tape on a bike. So anyway, um, we're going to cut this to size um, and then we're going to wrap it around and then we're going to use, but I know, this heat gun that I bought. Um, no more, <laughs> no more hair dryer um, because actually this stuff is, you, it says that you need to use a heat gun and not a hair dryer. And this, um, if you can read that, and I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but this thing gets up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and that's going to be much hotter than a, a hair dryer. So we're going to go cut this to size um, and I'll come back when we start wrapping this up. So um, let's go take care of that. Five minutes later.
nice about that is when you look about at it back here, I mean, you can still see this wire showing here, and maybe we'll get another smaller piece and wrap there. this with the heat gun and see what happens. Oh, that's nice. So what, the, what it's done is made this much more pliable here and I can really hug this up so that th there's no air underneath. That's really nice. Oh man, that really worked out really well. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, I wish, maybe if I can find video of what it was like when the tape was on there. I was just kind of ashamed of the tape, to be frank. So <laughs> I avoided uh, that, but this is, this is much better than the tape on the bike. So, I mean, as you can see, I've still got tape behind here, the, uh, license plate, um, and if I could figure out how to wrap this whole thing with the vinyl wrap, I would, uh, but because of all these holes, it's just not gonna work as well, but this is what looked like over here. And now this is a much cleaner look. A few moments later. All right, so I just wanted to get in here one more time because what I did was I went all the way back here with this, with this wrap because I mean, we, I've got a whole roll of it and uh, just wanted to see how it would look. And if you're looking at it from, from a ways off and uh, I don't even know if you can see this in the video, you can't really see the lines. Where, where the, the tape starts and where the bike ends. And to me, that's, that is exactly what I wanted. Even though you can see the wires here on top, um, unless you're really looking for it, I, I think it's so, I mean, obviously it's a thousand times better than the tape was uh, before um, we slapped this uh, vinyl wrap on here. So I can definitely recommend this vinyl wrap tape. Again, I'm gonna throw this up here. Uh, this is just the backing, but this is the 3M Wrap Film Series 1080. I'll throw a link down in the description, so if you want to get some for yourself um, to wrap your bike or wrap up any wiring or whatever it might be, whatever purpose you want to have here on your bike, um, maybe I'll, I'll throw up um, a, a, a follow-up video on my Facebook page, just a short video to see how it holds up against um, you know, a wash or uh, the elements if we're out in the rain a little bit. Um, just to see if we need to reapply it in any way, but I mean it feels really solid here on the bike So anyway guys if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you're so inclined hit the subscribe button You can see and keep up with with what's going on with that one guy I'll throw some links up here also so you can go straight to one of my other videos if you so please and guys if you're riding be safe And if you're not riding get riding. This is that one guy and I'm out <laughs>